What's going on everybody? Hope you're having a great day as always. Today's video we're going to go over common issues with the Jeep WJ. So 99 to 2004, these are just things to keep an eye out when you're going to go buy one. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first issue is a very common issue among Grand Cherokees. So it's actually the wiring harness inside of the door. As you can see, I've already popped my rubber boot off and dealt with this issue. But essentially when you open and close your door multiple times, the wires inside get worn and they break, causing the switch panel not to work very well. So the solution to that is popping the rubber boot off and then you'll want to splice the wires, add some wire in so it's less wear on them when it's opening and closing and that should fix your issue. The next thing on the list is actually inside of the dash. So it's the blend door, which what that essentially does is when you turn your controls from AC to heat or back and forth, there's a flap inside the dash that um, dictates that. So what happens is it'll get stuck either way and you'll have to either pull the dash or open your glove box and cut behind it to get access to that. Um, it's one of those things that's probably better to fix the right way and just pull the dash apart and get to it, opposed to cutting your car. That is a common issue among these Jeeps, so just keep an eye out for that. Next up is one of those things that I said was dependent on what engine you have. I have the 4.0, so this isn't as big of an issue for me as it is for the 4.7 V8 guys. But essentially what happens is the 4.7 has issues with the valve seats. Um, the 4.7 has aluminum heads and steel valve seats, meaning if you overheat the engine bad enough, the valve seats come loose, which can cause major damage to the engine over time. So if you have a 4.7, just make sure you don't overheat it and keep that in mind. Next on the list is drive shafts. So this is a pretty big issue if you plan on building your Jeep, lifting it, bigger tires, things along those lines. Some of the V8 ones came with the better drive shafts, but still you want to look into um, upgrading them. The issue is if you plan on lifting your Jeep four inches or more, this one's four inches. Uh, we have a four inch zone lift on ours. Um, you actually have to replace the drive shaft because the drive shaft will just keep wearing out over time. There is a bunch of aftermarket options for this. This is also something I would not cheap out on. For example, one of the ones I'm considering is this Tom Woods drive shaft. It's about $420, but it's definitely worth it in the long run. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think that I missed anything on this list or add to the list down in the comments to help people that are looking into buying a WJ figure out what they need. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe and come back for more awesome Grand Cherokee content.